a series of ice ages have occurred in the past 1.5 million years. In North America, two ice sheets formed, one originating in the northwest Rocky Mountains and another originating around the Hudson Bay. When the glaciations reached their greatest extent, these two ice sheets joined and formed an ice area of about 6 million square miles, an area greater than the ice of Antarctica and possibly representing the largest ice sheet to ever form in Earth's history. Ice sheets also covered parts of Europe, Asia, Greenland, Antarctica, and southern regions of South America, Africa, and Australia. Because so much water was locked up in ice sheets, sea level dropped an estimated 300 feet. As a result, many regions which are currently covered by ocean were exposed, such as an ice-free land bridge which connected Alaska and Siberia. In the past 1.5 million years, a series of glaciations were interrupted by interglacial periods of comparable warmth. The alternation between glacial and interglacial periods is largely due to variations in the Earth's orbit and the tilt of the Earth's axis and the variation of the time period in which the Earth is closest to the Sun. The Nebraskan glaciation began 1.5 million years ago and ended about 1.1 million years ago. After the Aftonian interglacial period, the Kansan glaciation began about 900,000 years ago and ended about 600,000 years ago. The Illinoan glaciation lasted from 600,000 years ago to 100,000 years ago. The Wisconsinian glaciation began about 100,000 years ago and ended only recently, about 10,000 years ago. The last interglacial period lasted 11,000 years, and the prior interglacial period lasted 16,000 years. Since it has been 10,000 years since the last glaciation, the current period might be another interglacial period, which will end ultimately in another ice age.